I know that many instructors teach that it's better to shop not in RAW, better shop the image at the end of the retouching. And I don't like to say that's not true, but I made a decision for myself. I shop every image at the beginning and sometimes at the end. Because I think a raw file is a raw file and it's untouched. That means a raw file is a bit blurry and all I like to do is I like to add some basic sharpness. Not a final sharpening, all I like to do is a basic sharpening in raw. And I will show you this in the next minutes twice. I start with a raw sharpening with a female portrait and then I will show you exactly the same again with a male portrait because my settings are a little bit different. It depends if I have a female character where the sharpening is a little bit smoother and for a male character I add a little bit more than necessary. All right, let's get started. I start with a female sharpening first. So I open my raw file here and uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Many people or many instructors recommend to zoom in to 100% to check the before after if the sharpening is good or not. Well, I zoom in most of the time at least to 200%, then I can see it a little bit better. And uh, now we can get started. I sharp the image here in RAW in a detail section. I do everything here with Camera Raw, but you can do exactly the same with Lightroom or other tools. All right, so the most important slider here is the amount. With the amount, you can uh, set how strong do you like to sharp the image. So you can bring the slider here to something around 50 and you can see the sharpness in the image. By clicking on the preview button, you can see the before after. And it looks okay. The skin is a little bit grainy. Let's add a little bit more. And I think uh, we all can see that this is a little bit too much. The problem is I don't like the radius. The radius is at the moment at one pixel. What I like to have is a fine sharpness. And if you have a radius of one, the edges of the sharpening is a little bit too strong for me. So I prefer a radius of 0.6. This is a radius what I use all the time. Then the sharpness is a little bit, yeah, let's call it finer. A little bit fine, not so strong, not thick edges. Give them a try and figure out what you like. And for a female portrait, I think 90, amount of 90 is a little bit too much. Take a look at the before after. I mean, we have more sharpness in the image. And if we zoom out a little bit, uh, we see a sharp image and we can see the grain. But it's very important to check the picture in 100%. And in 100%, the skin is now a little bit too grainy. So when I shop a female portrait, most of the time I use the amount of 60. 60 is enough, so it's just the basic sharpness. Let's zoom in a little bit and check it. Before, after, before, after. Well, for this image, let's choose 70, but not more. Before, after, that is good. And check it here, before, after, before, after. It's not much, it's just a basic sharpening in RAW. That's all I like to do here. All right, so it's a little bit different when I have a strong male character portrait shot, like here. Let's bring the exposure a little bit down and let's zoom in. So this image have a good sharpness. It's uh, The shot is done with a prime lens of 85 millimeter and I'm very happy with the result. But I think we can add a little bit more sharpness. And this is a male portrait and maybe at the end, I like to convert it into a black and white image. I'm not sure, but I like to make this image a little bit more edgy, a little bit more rough, a little bit more, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a male character portrait shot. So what I do here is I choose the radius of 0.6. That, that is a, a number what I use all the time. But in female sharpening, I use the amount, most of the time, something between 60 and 70. But when I have a male shot like this shot here, I choose the amount something between 80 and 100. All right, this is 100 
And, well, I will not say this is too much. I mean, it looks great. It looks very sharp. The skin looks great. So we can easily choose here 100. Most of the time I choose something between 80 and 100. If you like to shop the image with 100, let's say 140, then do it. But I don't like it. So the maximum what I use here in the sharpening and the amount for male portraits is something, yeah, I would say 100, not more. And take a look at the before after. This was before and this is after. Before, after. Much, much better. Take a look. I mean, the original file, when, when I opened the file, I thought, wow, it's a good sharpness. But when I check now the before after, I think the original file was blurry. It was not. But in your image is so much potential to add more sharpness. And this is the way how I retouch my images, how I start doing my retouching. I give every image a basic sharpness. And uh, all I do is I change the numbers here a little bit between female shots and male shots. But you have to figure out your own kind of numbers, what, what you like to add here. All I recommend you is to give a raw file a basic sharpness, not too much, just a basic sharpness.